Some expectant mothers are preparing for the possibility of not having a traditional childbirth because of the pandemic. Kendra LaFleur shows us how one Lafayette mother decided to make the last minute switch to a midwife. Kendria's story, new tonight at 10. Many women are turning to midwives to avoid going to the hospital. With the pandemic weighing on their mind, out of hospital birth is something that's adding less stress to their pregnancy. Well, the fact that I was nervous to go to my actual doctor's appointments just kind of was a little red flag for me. Erin Bazile is 39 weeks into her pregnancy. Her original plan was to give birth in a hospital, but that changed during the pandemic. They had just started doing the um, temperature and face mask thing at the doctor's office. Like I got a phone call two days before my appointment saying that I couldn't bring anybody with me. Um, and if I did, they had to wait in the car. At about 36 weeks into her pregnancy, she decided to switch gears and get help from a midwife at the Natural Birth House in Lafayette Parish. It was nerve wracking and this gave me peace of mind and made me more comfortable. Midwife Kyra Kanya says she's seeing a surge in calls. Definitely have had an influx of clients since COVID started in the hospitals. Um, it started when um, they started banning support people in births. And then as the cases have grown, we've definitely seen an even larger influx since then. The birth house also making changes like wearing protective gear during birth, virtual appointments and following CDC guidelines. But they're making sure mothers still get support from their families during birth. So although we're asking them to limit it to two people, if a woman just truly feels like her essential team is three people, we're allowing that to be possible because it's so important for a woman to feel cared for and supported during her birth. And as long as everyone's well and symptom free, we're allowing them to do that. And this is easing the minds of women like Basile. I'm doing this because it gives me peace of mind. In the long run, I think this might be something good that will open a door for people to have other options than having a child in the hospital. To be considered for any midwife services, you must be a healthy, low-risk pregnant woman. Reporting for KATC TV3, I'm Kendria LaFleur.